and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Claire and this is The Wanderlust Way. In today's video, I'm staying at the Hotel Globals, which is in Costa Carma, in not far from Santa Ponza in Mallorca. So if you are staying here or thinking of staying here in the future, this video might be just what you're looking for to get a little gist of what the hotel's all about. It's not gonna be a very long video, um, but I'm gonna show some of the key areas. And if you've got any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. All right, that's enough waffle, let's wander. The Globals Costa de la Carma is a four-star hotel located in a quieter part of town, just a short walk from the beach and the main area of Santa Ponza in Mallorca. If you've been on this channel before, you might remember that we visited Palma Nova last year. Well, Santa Ponza is again on the southwest of the island of Mallorca and again, it's a very popular tourist destination, especially with the British, because there's loads going on. I won't go into too much more detail about the actual area as I'll be doing other videos on it later but the main thing is it has a cracking beach and the weather is better than England. So I will take you all on a little tour in a second but before I do that can I please ask you to like the video. Um, it's going to cost you absolutely nothing but it just massively helps the channel and if you want to come on more adventures especially some more Mallorca adventures then feel free to also subscribe. Okay let's go. So we booked this hotel as part of a package with flight through Jet2 holidays and we visited just on the edge of the UK summer holidays, so August going into September. We did notice some negative reviews online about the sunbed situation here. Um, I know sunbeds can be an issue sometimes with the smaller hotels, so if that's uh, a bit of a worry for you, I will cover that a little later on in this video. We booked a self-catering break and so our room was classed as a studio with balcony and I'll show you what amenities that had in the room tour. The package did include a coach transfer but we decided to pick a hire car up at the airport. It took us about 30 minutes to get from Palmer Airport to the hotel. Obviously if you're coming by coach transfer it might be slightly longer. When you first enter the reception area, it is beautifully clean and smells amazing. I don't know what they do, but honestly, I could just bottle it up and bring it home. There was always somebody on the desk and everybody in the staff that we met was really, really helpful. They do have some drinks for sale in the fridges here, but obviously they are a lot more expensive than um, the shops. So there's a mini market directly across the road. It is open during the day. It closes earlier on in the evening. So if you do get desperate, you can use the um, vending machines and that in the reception area. There's also a board up which tells you all the activities. They don't have a tremendous amount of activities going on, uh, but there are some for the children and um, like a mini disco and things like that, but they do finish quite early. Again, they're on the timetable. We are in room 408, which is on the fourth floor. Oh, <laughs> we've just checked in, so this is literally you're seeing it as we've just arrived. We've literally just dropped the bags off. So I will start by walking through the room. This is a self-catering holiday. So it's supposed to have everything we need so that we can self-cater. Um, so we've got a little table here and two chairs. There's a double bed. I'm not quite firm, double bed. We've got a sofa here, which we are told is a pull-out sofa bed, as if we needed it. Then we've got a little kitchenette. So we've got a hob, microwave, kettle and toaster, sink, fridge with a very, very small freezer. And then, not sure, we've got glasses. What's he making all this noise for? Trying the drawer out. <laughs> Do you need to try the drawer out? Yeah. So what have we got, a set of drawers? Yeah. Okay, yeah. a very yeah. noisy set of drawers. And then, so plates and stuff, yep. Oh, I don't know what that is, secret. So, this is the room. We have a TV, 
we'll let you know later on what that covers now the balcony if i can get on the balcony it does have air con this room so obviously when i open the balcony door the air con's going to go off but this is the balcony so we've got quite a nice view because we've got a view of the pool over there and then it pan over you've got tennis courts by the looks of things there some more hotels in the distance and then some shops and things over there and then quite a, a massive decent sized balcony actually just for us two towel rail so here we are so first impressions are good I will let you know now before I forget before Adi starts chilling out I will show you the bathroom so let's have a look we've got two glasses sink standard there is some hand soap included but uh, no other toiletries unless I find some a uh, hair dryer towels decent sized shower yeah impressed with the shower uh, oh you've got some toiletries there as well so if you need them okay right frosted door obviously no hook on the back of the door if you've watched my videos before you know that is something i look for there's no hook but i can understand if it's a glass door they wouldn't do that then we've got whoop, wardrobes here safe was extra it was 10 pound deposit and how much more was it ad about 35 euros for the safe I do always like to get the safe just in case there's any issues and you've not got any arguments with your travel insurance company. So that's the room. Over and out. So let's take a look outside. There is a restaurant outside near the pools and a pool bar. We didn't actually eat here so I can't comment on the food uh, but there were people eating so it can't be that bad. The cocktails though, they were very good and the beer was very, very cold. So that's a winner. Uh, the bar does shut quite early though, which is nice if you want a peaceful night and not a lot of noise. But if you do want some nightlife, then there is plenty within walking distance. There's a place called The Square, which I'll show you in a minute. It's, it's not too far away. Let's move on to the pool areas. There's a main pool and a kids pool. The main pool, which is the one right next to the bar, is quite deep at one end. So we found that the kids seem to congregate in the shallow section closest to the bar. It was really busy when we arrived, uh, but it did seem to calm down at the end of the week as, as people were going back to England for the start of the school. Pool temperature was good. I mean, bear in mind, it was about 30 degrees on average when we went. Um, so the pool was absolutely fine temperature wise. But the most important one, let's move on to that question I asked earlier about the sunbeds. How was the sunbed situation? So third day in, it's about half past ten. Still plenty of sunbeds around the pool, but I assume a lot of the kids have gone back to school now because the school holidays will be coming to a close in Britain in the next few days. The kids will be going back. So, yeah, you come the first sort of week of September, shouldn't be any issues. And it's now nearly 10 o'clock on the 5th of September 2024 and still plenty of sunbeds. Obviously, I can only give you my perspective from a September point of view. I have no idea what it was like in August. I imagine if you have got big families, then it might be quite difficult because the pool area is quite small around there. Um, but for September, back end of August, it was fine. Although we travelled as just two adults on this trip, we found the hotel to be very popular with families and when our boys were younger I think they would have really liked it. I think it would have been a great place to bring them. There was a play area with some really cool giant mushroom things and, and of course the kids pool that I mentioned earlier and the beach in Santa Ponza is very popular with young families. The sea is really quite calm and it's easy to access from the beach so I can understand why it's popular for families. There are bars and restaurants within walking distance. It looks like a lot of them have closed down, which is quite sad when you first come out of the hotel, but there's still plenty of other, you keep walking. So about five minute walk will get you to what's called the square, where there's loads of restaurants and things down there. 
Um, Here is a little sneaky peek of what you can expect if you head over to the square. I think I'll cover more of that on my day-to-day um, -day video though, that'll be on later on in the channel. It's probably about a 15 minute walk to the beach, but I'll put the actual distance down in the description and you, yes, yeah, so you have got plenty within walking distance of the hotel. And this is the beach that you will get to. This is the closest beach to the hotel. And absolutely gazillions of bars, restaurants, shops down here. But for those that have got fussy kids, you've got Burger King and McDonald's as well. But obviously if you want to shop local and shop with independent businesses, which is obviously much better for the tourist industry over here because they have been suffering then yeah please do support it, small independent businesses if you can and there's toilets on the beach as well and there's bars on the beach but if you want more on exploring Mallorca if you want to see a little bit more then head over to the channel because I've got some other videos that are either just gone on or they're coming soon so that's it thank you so much to everybody for watching and like i said before if you've got any questions feel free to drop them in the comments i am doing a few more videos on places to go in mallorca so if you want to head over to the channel if you are coming you might also find those useful thank you and have an amazing time if you're coming to mallorca bye <laughs>